try this delicious potato and ground beef recipe. Next time. To start our recipe, I will cut three potatoes into thin slices. That's the way I'm doing it. I will add a little olive oil in a frying pan. Then I will add our cut potatoes. And I will stir until it starts to get golden. That way, I will add a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and a teaspoon of paprika. I will stir again so that our potatoes are well seasoned. This recipe will impress you. So incredible that it is your result. In another pan, I'll add a little more olive oil. And then I'll add 500 grams of ground beef. This recipe will be part of your routine too. I'll stir well until the ground beef gets to that point. Here I will add an onion cut into cubes, a tomato cut into cubes, and half green bell pepper cut into cubes. I'll stir our ingredients well. Next I will add a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, a teaspoon of paprika and a teaspoon of nutmeg. I will stir again to add the flavor of the seasonings. In our ground beef, this has become one of my favorite recipes since I first made it. Finally, I will add 200 grams of tomato sauce and stir a little more. I have no doubt that you and your family will love this recipe. Do it at your house. And then come back to tell me what you think. Now in a container, I will add all our ingredients, starting with the potatoes and then the ground beef. Everyone at home loves this recipe. Whenever I do nothing is left, this recipe is wonderful on top of the ground beef. I'll add mozzarella, it's optional, but it makes our recipe even more delicious. I myself was impressed when I made it. So delicious that this recipe is. I will also add a little oregano, it's our special touch. I'll bake for 20 minutes at 356 degrees Fahrenheit. And before I forget, tell me which city you're watching. So I can send you a special hug. Today's hug goes to Ida Borges from Portugal. I'm glad you're enjoying our recipes. Now our recipe is ready. I have no doubt that you will come back here to thank me for teaching you this wonderful recipe. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Thank you so much for watching this video so far. I see you in the next video. Bye.